doing quite a bit of damage here. Beautiful! Yo, what up guys? It's Soul here coming at you with another League of Legends video. Welcome back to another video of the series where I cover all the Aurelian Soul matchups. Let's get right into it. Just a little bit about myself, as always, before we get into the game. I was the former rank 1 Aurelian Soul in North America, and I reached around 152 LP Masters. Let's get it. Now, today's matchup is pretty interesting. It's actually going to be the Twisted Fate matchup, which is actually really fun in my opinion, as they both try to impact the map early game with his, like, level six like you can just roam and just both in all champions in the mid lane that can impact the game early so i'm interested to see how this game plays out so we're just going to do the standard five point here and as always the runes and op.gg information are going to be on the screen right now as far as the lane goes i'm thinking that what you want to do early is you want to start w first and some matchups uh like i discussed in one of my comments in the last video Sometimes you want to start Q and sometimes you want to start W level 1 depending on the matchup. A general rule that I have for myself is if it's a, me a melee matchup, I usually just start Q uh, because you can get an auto Q, uh, auto electrocute proc. And if uh, it's a range matchup, uh, you want to be getting W first as you want to try to get the wave in as early as possible. So we're going to get W here. It's going to try and poke you out early, so you want to be careful of that. You can definitely trade with him. It does outrange you just a tiny bit, so... I want to make sure I'm going to go for a trade here. I should be able to win this. It's actually a positive trade. I should get level 2 first, I believe. Now, it is Talon Jungle, so I'm just going to shove in this wave and try to get a ward out. He's, trying, he's tanking the minion wave a little bit. Uh, I'm not too sure if uh, Jungler started... Uh... So we're just going to ward his Raptors here. I see that his Raptors are gone, which means that he probably went red Raptors into blue. So I'm going to ping topside. Just to let our top laner know that Jace, or sorry, Talon is probably... really want to be careful. I really don't want to get ganked. He does pull the yellow card. I want to be careful. I don't know where the jungle is, so I'm just not going to walk up or anything like that. That's just if they can pull out a, a stun card and uh, Talon can get a pretty good gank angle in. So I'm just going to let the wave slowly shove towards me. Unfortunately, when you're thinking about roaming, Morgana is probably one of the biggest counters to Aurelian Soul in the bot lane. Just because of her black shield, any roam that you try to go down there, one of your stuns is not going to hit. So, obviously, you want to try and hit the enemy if you roam bot lane without the black shield if you roam bot with Morgana. But it's kind of difficult as Morgana tends to just hold her black shield right before you uh, throw your stun out. I'm just going to try and farm up, get a first back in. Again, this is one of the lanes where that don't really see too many solo kill opportunities just because I said fate can space pretty well into the lane i'm actually going to reset off this wave if he decides to shove this wave in i'll just e back to lane boots into seal into uh sapphire crystal here looks like tf roam bot unfortunately with his tp what the i actually just realized that i wasn't capturing my cursor so i apology for that i'm looking to, i'm gonna look bot here i'm gonna look for this caitlin i do have flash should fall unfortunately i did have to burn flash ignite but it's pretty worth it for the shutdown gold looks like zyra is kind of inting what that's interesting i'm just gonna zone tf off the wave here uh, that's pretty much the only thing i can do he does have sork shoes now so i have to be wary of uh the predator proc i don't want to get stun carded into a gank so i'm just gonna try and space and make sure that i'm thinking about where the jungler is at all times the thing with uh tf is that he actually can't kill you solo i'm gonna get a gank here uh i probably just shouldn't have uh went for the gank um, i kind of had an idea that they were probably hovering mid but i thought they might have been at drag i do miss this fat wave though unfortunately uh this game i think i'm just actually gonna go merc treads because of the stun card i think it will do me good as far as mythic this game i'm thinking i'll probably go everfrost uh just to get some lockdown onto tf and uh talon no roam opportunities right now quite a difficult game this game the tf is three and O, oh, and we have even cs so it's a little bit of a mid gap right now but i'm hoping that i can make a bigger impact in the mid slash late game than him and uh win us the game so we'll see remember guys as aurelian so you are viable at any point of the game as long as uh you don't feed your ass off this lane is kind of difficult. This guy is playing it pretty well, though, I will say. Can't really trade with him just because I can't see Talon on the map. If I walk up for a trade, there's 
Why is there a bot here? I'm gonna look. Really trying my best here. Probably just have to R this guy away. I think I'm dead. Oh, uh, yeah. I should have realized that TF could R. Fiora's gonna show mid. Pretty rough early game, I will say. Here comes Poppy again, though. Wait for Fiora to back. This should be an easy shutdown onto this guy. gonna R for the shutdown gold not gonna lie okay that was a pretty big shutdown I can carry they said he's really fed um the first two videos that I made we did have pretty good early games so I like that this is a change where I can show you guys the reality of playing ASO. a lot of the time you're not gonna have a good early game you need to know how to bounce back from that don't tilt and uh you guys that you can definitely win having a bad start I'm gonna get a reset off here again we're going for the everfrost route so let's get a lost chapter here I can't even really go for any roams like, this game is really hard because Morgana has Black Shield, and I can't really roam top lane because Fiora has her W. So I really can't get a stun off in any of the side lanes, which kind of sucks. Just gonna try and CS my way to victory here. Make sure to stay composed, and just do everything in your power to not feed. I'm thinking if I can get to the mid game, TF will be a little bit weaker than I am. So maybe we can turn things around here. Make sure to call your Mayas with this matchup. I don't want to face check any bush. Yeah, it's just a perma roam mid, it looks like. I actually R'd Morgana away from her, uh... I'm gonna eat this, but... Just gets one-shotted. I did R Morgana away before she could black shield my, uh, knockback. Just so that stun wouldn't go off. I really shouldn't fight here. Should just back off at this point. My bot lane isn't doing too hot, as they're 0-4 and, and a 1-3 and Zyra, but... Jace is really strong here, so I'm thinking we can duo carry with the jungler. I mean... <laughs> okay, <laughs> just gonna get a reset off. I can get my Everfrost item, which is a pretty good power spike. Grab a pink ward and a blue trinket. My QE to this. pretty good we're slowly coming back into the lane here though bot should fall but that's expected and as you've seen i have not made any good roams besides the, the shutdown kill onto the bot lane this guy actually might want to too close dsing pretty decent which should be enough for us to win the game if we can play it right Let's see if we can get an angle here Beautiful! This tower's gonna fall, it is what it is. And just get a reset off here. Thinking this game, probably go Rylice just so we can mitigate to Fate's stun card if we can get some slows off. But this game, Rylice is just pretty good in general because they have uh, Fiora. We can look, honestly. I'm gonna QE to this fight, see what happens. Drop the Knight down, just R. Should fall. Get the shutdown onto Caitlyn. Now, I don't want to get one shot here. Okay, we did get a start, uh, flash off on the TF, which is not bad. Grab some camps here. Again, guys, I want to emphasize that Aurelian Soul doesn't have to be an early game uh, impactor. Uh, he can scale pretty well into the mid slash late game, like I said in my last video. Uh, so, you are pretty much viable at any point of the game. Is an underrated aspect of Ace Soul that not too many people know about I'm gonna get a reset off here thinking i'm gonna sell my corrupting potion for a giant spell we want to go uh everfrost into rylice into possibly zanyas just because of the talon burst and maybe if i don't want to get stunned by the twisted fate i can just pop a zanyas before it lands this guy is a little bit overextended throw a stun out though kill that guy Kill that guy. You could probably chase harder. I do have E. But it doesn't look like we can do much here. Grab the blue buff and get a reset off. 
we are pretty actually we're pretty strong now we do have 10 dark seal stacks and i'm about to finish my rylize so that's really good go ahead and get rylize here and i'm thinking let's just go ahead and get stopwatch and a pink ward maybe i can actually go magi's this game uh just because i kind of have to carry it's gonna head to the sideline here uh just keep farming up chase is gonna get caught out here try and look for picks here Maybe we can get a stun off into the top lane. Gotta keep in mind that Twisted Fate does have R. I see Caitlyn in the mid lane, though. We can go. Twisted Fate's in the bot lane. We should fight. Okay, Morg's caught. I think we should keep going. the Zanyas, I probably have to flash here. Yeah, I'm just going to reset. This is a tough game, boys. We have to finish our uh, stopwatch here. Oh, this is a really fucking tough game. Shove mid here. I mean, it's 16 to 16, but the game kind of feels like uh, we're behind by a lot, which I think we are because they do have four towers on us. And we only have two. Starting to... Twisted Fate did have a CS lead in the early game, but we're starting to catch up now. I'm going to farm, farm, farm. Oh shit. I can walk, but. Shit. Uh, I don't know if we want to do this. This is pretty difficult. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, Talon, that's uh, quite the end from you. Uh, we have to run. I don't think we can do this, quite honestly. Okay. This is a really close game, but I think we actually might outscale? I have to reset. I can't go directly to contest the Drake. I have no mana. Probably just look to finish my Hourglass here. Really can't make a mistake. Guys, if you are the only fed person in the game, the game is pretty much in your hands. If you make a mistake and you die, give up your shutdown. Uh, it's pretty much GG. I've experienced it way too much. I get tilted because my team sucks, but then I die and then the game just becomes unplayable. So you need to have that monk mentality if you want to climb elo. I'm going to reset off this wave here and grab a Zanyas. I either might finish my Medjayas or I might go into like a Shadow Flame. I'm not too sure yet. Let's just grab Pink Wards though. We really cannot make a mistake here if we want to win this game. Don't want to face check. They have complete control of our jungle right now. We can't walk up. Looks like a fight is going to crop up. Oh, looks like... Okay, we trade one for one. Uh, I'm down to fight. I really think we can... Fight. Oh, wow. Um, doing quite a bit of damage here. Beautiful bait by holy I actually baited the TF to walk up by uh, pressing W and then he thought he was in range for the stun card But he actually just walked into my stars and he couldn't hit me at all. So that was really good Please reset. Please reset. Please reset Please reset I think we should go oh, Okay, I'm gonna I'm just gonna go to Baron here. I oh, That was pretty much Inevitable. I do pop my ignite. God. I'm gonna reset and maybe we can. God. Guys. Guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to look for this play, unfortunately. Maybe we can get a steal off. I had to flash, otherwise I would have died. Try to go for the steal. It was actually pretty close. I was thinking I can maybe R it. Probably just have to turtle this uh, Baron and just not contest the Drake. Guys, can we not just give the Drake? Guys, can we just give it? We just give this Drake and test next. When they don't have Baron, we have a better chance at winning the game. God. Team. Wait. Wait. I 
actually looks kind of winnable. Wow. That's my bad. I shouldn't have walked up at all. I just got completely one shot. What a messy game. A messy, messy game. We should have just gave. I don't know why we contested, but it actually looked pretty close. I don't know. Maybe if I was there, we could have probably won the fight. I really would have rather just give and then contest next Drake when they don't have Baron. I think we're going to go ahead and sell the Darkseal. Did give a fat shutdown onto Caitlyn, though, which is pretty sad. She's building Stopwatch now. That was a pretty bad mistake by me. Uh, The next team fight will probably be over Dragon or Baron and... That team fight will probably decide the game. Hmm? I could actually catch this guy. What? That was quite the int by the TF. Again, guys, you want to be looking at opportunities to use your E to catch people out like that. It can really change the game. People seem to forget about Aurelian Soul's mobility. This is a very tough game, guys. Probably one of the closest games I've played in a while. We really need vision in the side lane here. I think we should just disengage. Bad way to go. TF is splitting in the top lane. Maybe we can look here. Rampage for Jace. We can get Void Staff as well. Let's get two pink wards here. I'm just going to try and match TF in the top lane here. That's interesting. Nice, let's go. Great pick onto the Talon here. I predicted his hop with my Everfrost, so we locked him down. Here comes Baron. He's actually going to spawn right after it spawns, so maybe we can start it before he comes up. And I'm thinking, just going to sell this. I'm just going to wait in base for a little bit, because I know the next side is really important, so I'm just going to grab Elixir. What are... We... I'm going to spawn here. Take drag... It looks like my team is going to go for it. Actually, I think is the right play. We want to deny the soul because Hextech is really important. They're actually going to go for our, our base here. Definitely do not want to get a steal. He actually goes for the big play. It's pretty interesting. I have to back. I can't really save this guy. That was a lie. Okay, we're just going to look for the, the gank onto them. They did... They actually went for the Nexus play. Not the Nexus, the inhib play, which is interesting. I think we can actually... We can catch them for sure. I can land an R onto the Caitlyn. I think they all should be dead. Oh, I kind of misplayed that. I had to predict that. Uh, I didn't want to die. So maybe that's enough. Uh, she should be dead, right? Beautiful. Let's go. So I actually just Zanya's just because if she threw the Q, her bind kind of CCs her for like half a second. Honestly, might go Rebidon's here. Wait, we can just do this. Can we please do this? I'm going to look for this QE. Beautiful. Let's go. We should be able to do this Baron here. Remember guys, stay calm, cool, and collected. Do not want to make a mistake at this point in the game. Uh, especially since I am 14 and 3 and have a fat shutdown. Remember, you have to type to your teammates in these kind of games, guys. You have to coordinate something. Team play is very important in League of Legends. The play is probably run mid is what they're saying. We'll have it. We'll have Baron for Soul if we start it immediately. No one should be get picked here. It's really detrimental if someone gets picked. Unless they get picked. This is pretty bad. I'm not really liking the odds of this play. I have to play it really good. I could get flash on though. It's not too bad here. We did get a pick. It was a two for one. Uh, the reason I went in there is because I saw the pick and it was definitely possible. I just kind of misplayed it. We're going to try and shove down mid here. Let's play this really slow. Don't want to get stun carded. We just reset. Yeah, I should have Rebidons. 
Oh, I'm just gonna wait for this item. Hopefully no one gets picked. For Rebidon's care. Okay. We get full build here. Lucifate's looking for the pick onto the sky, but actually misplays it. He actually still might get the kill. Okay. Boom! Oh, man. Okay. Whoa, that was a weird interaction. What? Okay. Let's go, boys. Jace gets picked. Okay, just secure the drag and we should be good. Looks like it's going to be a 40 minute banger of a game for today's video for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. We definitely can still lose though, for sure. We did secure the soul though, which is pretty good. Get as, as slow as possible. Okay. Worry about that? Maybe I can just go in. I have to pop a flash here. Oh, wow. Looks like I'm just going to try and secure this. Ah, oh, I misplayed that so bad. I thought I could kill the Morgana, but it's actually not worth it. Holy, it's not too big of a throw, but it is definitely a throw. We did get inhib at least. Play for this, boys. Play for this. We do have soul. So I think any team fight we take, we should just win outright. All we have to do is just not int the team fight, and we should be able to win. go found you good pick onto the morgana she's gonna fall she has a 50 second death timer might look for another pick though guys we cannot get picked we're not gonna pass this line let's just gain control of baron here i'll be here oh, i'm thinking maybe i don't lose this too hard Oh god, guys. I need help. I need help. I need help. Oh, boys. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. This looks bad. Okay. Caitlyn should fall, right? Please don't trade. We traded. Okay, no. He has GA. Can we end? Oh, my god, man. I think... Did I even have to back? Maybe I should have just... We should have just gave the two inhibs. They could lose, believe it or not. Caitlyn is really... Oh, she's dead, actually. Big pick on the Morgana. Why is she flanking? That was really weird, but okay. It might be the end angle from the team. I'm up in seven, though. Just gonna refresh my elixir. That's all I can do at this point. Talon gets a huge flank onto the Jace. But gets the 1v1 down. Looks like that's gonna be it for the game here. Just doing a little bit of casting. And it looks like the end angle is going to pop off with a 45-minute banger. 16 and 5 and 6. And that's going to be it for the video, guys. Appreciate you guys watching. Oh, my God, man. What a banger. Oh, my God, guys. My blood pressure. I actually have a headache after that game, believe it or not. But hope you all enjoyed that video. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. That was a quite the banger of a game. Uh, make sure if you want to see more Rally and Soul content or just mid lane content in general, make sure to let me know what I did wrong in this video or if you have any video recommendations. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you uh, like the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video.